Mama, Mama. <laughs> yeah. Moment, Mama. Okay. Da, da, da. Yeah, aber warte. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, today we're going to do a taste test of the things that Meister Lane's here, also known as uh, Dominic, uh, what he sent us in the little package. Uh, we're going to start off with the Lebkuchen, which is gingerbread. Um, so I'll have one, and Sophia can have one, so she'll test this out for us. Put that there, there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mama, mama. Mama. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Mm. <laughs> mama. Nein, nein, du hast gar nicht. Du hast doch eine. Okay, so the Lebkuchen is uh, it's a softer Lebkuchen and uh, it's definitely really sweet and it's got a little bit of a bite of the uh, cinnamon and uh, the ginger in there and uh, overall a great Lebkuchen. Uh, this is made by Balsen. I'm a huge fan of them. Uh, Sophia eats them for snack and uh, she's been eating them for several days now. She uh, walks up to the counter and knows where they are and says uh, more and tries to get to eat more and more of them. So we'll just let her snack on that for a little bit. Uh, the next thing on here, I've already actually tried these out because I kind of had to because uh, they're kind of one of my favorite things here. We have uh, hazelnut covered in chocolate. You can't go wrong with hazelnut and chocolate. So we're going to try this out. Um, Comes in a nice little package here, uh, out of, once you get it out of the little star here. And uh, they're each individually wrapped here. So, open that up, you have a little uh, triangle inside there. And uh, a bite in half so that we can see what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. Okay. Well, as you can see, uh, there was a whole hazelnut in there, plus some crunched up pieces of hazelnut. Mm. And the was doing stuck. Like I said, uh, I'm a big fan of anything that's chocolate and hazelnut, <laughs> and Sophia apparently is as well. Uh, Ma, by the way, means more, so that's her way of saying that she would like more of it. Um, let's get you another egg cookie instead, at least that's slightly more healthy than the chocolate. Hmm, yeah. Well, that's number two on our list, is the hazelnut. Absolutely amazing chocolate. Great hazelnut, perfectly roasted, good stuff all around. And Milka, uh, Milka does sell some stuff here in the U.S. Uh, they don't sell this particular one that I know of. Um, so, let's see if I can get the package open here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Probably finish the other chocolate first. There's a little water in down the head. Yeah, let's get that in one. Okay. So, uh, this one is chocolate and it's, uh, it says it's dime on the outside of it, and I didn't bother actually looking up what dime was. Uh, so, I'll take a little chunk of this. Uh, looks just like chocolate, and there's a little bit of the uh, butterscotch or uh, oh, what's that? Toffee. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Toffee in the middle of it. So, the usual milk of chocolate um, on the outside of it with uh, a little bit of uh, toffee on the inside. And uh, usually I'm not a fan of toffee, but uh, that's actually a pretty good toffee. And uh, it's not too much toffee, it's just the right mixture of chocolate and uh, toffee in there. And it's good stuff, actually. I'm a fan. I'll try not to give her too much chocolate today, so we'll avoid giving her another chocolate. Uh, this here is the Lustige Grüsselmonster uh, from Kinder Schokolade. And we're going to open up the bag here. And inside the bag we have these uh, individually wrapped little uh, ghosts and goblins and such. Uh, this one here happens to be a ghost with a chain around his neck, poor guy. So... Hey, <clears throat> Vata, Vata. Okay. So... Vata, hey. 
So if you break it open, I busted his head off, but uh, inside there's a little uh, cream chocolate inside there. We'll give some to Sophia, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. And so this one is uh, the normal Kinder chocolate, uh, chocolate on the outside of it, and uh, their brand is kind of standard for the same old type of uh, Kinder Chocolata. And then uh, on the inside of it, it's got this uh, cream, kind of a milk cream that's on the inside of it. Um, it's a real soft cream. Okay. It's another egg cream. <laughs> I would say that she likes the Lebkuchen. <laughs> Okay, uh, so that was the uh, Lustige Grizzlemonster, and uh, our next one on here is the Rittersport, which is Gebrannte uh, Mandel on the inside of these, which are the uh, roasted almonds, I believe, uh, as it was pointed out by Ren. Um, email. Anyway, um, these are supposed to break off into squares, uh, but mine obviously broke off a little bit more of into a triangle there, and uh, it has little bits of uh, almond in the middle of it, and yeah, we'll try a little bit of that. It's a little bit harder than the uh, the Kinder Chocolata, and uh, it does have... Hey, 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 vada, vada, vada. A bit of geduld, kleiner. Okay. Here, that's is for dich. So it's a little bit harder of a uh, chocolate than the Milka or the uh, Kinder Chocolata, but uh, it's still a good uh, creamy chocolate that melts pretty easily inside your mouth. And uh, then the nuts kind of <laughs> the nuts kind of uh, offset it a little bit so that you have a little bit more of a variety of flavor. Okay, I'll let you put your feet up on the table there. <clears throat> Uh, the next thing on our list is the uh, the Lindt, which I'm actually really looking forward to. I was going to kind of hold off on eating this one because it looks delicious. Uh, but we'll get it up to the camera here so you can see. Uh, got different kind of nut in, well, you've got a, uh, a walnut and milk, and then uh, different kinds of chocolate layered inside there. Okay, 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 hey, 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 vata, vata, vata. <sighs> I officially have spoiled the child. Thank you, Dominic. Okay, so... Uh, we'll Pull off the little uh, tape thing there to release the nut from the inside. And it uh, comes individually wrapped. There's uh, just the one in here, which is why I was trying to hold off on eating this one, but might as well do it all in one sitting. And uh, it's got the nut inside of there, and then uh, layers of other chocolate. And the outside actually looks like uh, the entire thing should be edible. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Sag mehr bitte. Sag mehr. Ja, bitte. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, little wrapping off the back side here, and then, again, for the camera. So we have uh, a little chocolate there with a the nut in the center of it. As you can see, we have uh, layers on the inside of it, and that is amazing. Wow. There's a lot going on in that chocolate. That is awesome. Um, so there's chocolate on there, and then there's also a little bit of caramel on the inside of it, um, and kind of like a nougat type thing in there. Du hast schon etwas, yeah. It's just okay, du hast was. Okay. Bist du etwas Wasser? Hmm? Nein? Okay. I think I'm going to save the rest of that for later. Um, let's see. We do have some reason in here. Reason are uh, chocolate with caramel. We actually do sell these in the U.S. as well. Um, but I usually don't buy them. They're uh, kind of a dark chocolate that's uh, wrapped in, well, caramel that's wrapped in dark chocolate. So, little squares. And uh, it's the uh, thicker caramel on the inside of them. So, it's not quite... Nine. Takes a little bit to chew through the reason, uh, which is usually why I don't get them. I have too many fillings and they'll just 
pulled them right out of there. But the uh, the reasons are chewier and uh, quite tasty, but they do take a little bit of uh, getting used to with the chewing and trying to get through all of them. <laughs> And the only thing I have left is the Stollen, uh, which is batched like so. And usually, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of marzipan, and that's what it does say on the outside of the packaging that there is marzipan. Yep. Powdered sugar on the top of it. Um, get a little bit of... Uh, uh, raisin, I guess, uh, in the middle of there, and some other stuff going on there. Um, I did not grab a knife, so I have to kind of improvise here. <laughs> so, in the inside, it looks uh, like you roll it up and whatnot. For that's how you make it with a stolen, and you have uh, raisins and some other stuff on the inside of there. We'll we'll see what Sophia does with uh, a little bit of the uh, crust here. Still working on the reason. Trying to get the caramel out of my teeth. But uh, definitely a sweet flavor to it. And uh, got raisins in the middle of there. And yeah. Schmeckt das dir? Yeah. Seemed to have down that just, just fine. not bad. Um, just kind of a, uh, a cake slash bread type thing mixed together and then rolled up into a, uh, a into a shkolet. Uh And then it's got a little bit of a raisin flavor to it. And uh, there is some... Hey, 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 hey. Meow. Yeah. Okay. It's... Uh, I'm trying to think. There's a flavor that I think is comparable. I can't think of exactly what it is, but it's got like a cooked roasted fruit in there, and then uh, it's also got the cake type feel to it with uh, the flakiness of the uh, the stollen. And it's overall pretty good stuff. Um, Sophia, was thanks to but was good. Yeah, sag danke. Nee, das ist dein Kopf. Wo ist deine Nase? Deine Nase? Hmm? That's the cough. Where's the nose? Okay. Apparently, we're not going to play that game right now. We are uh, only interested in food. But uh, thank you very much, Dominic. It is delicious food and uh, great chocolate. And Sophia is going to be spoiled with it. And I thank you very much for sending it over to us. And uh, I'm going to corral her now and uh, sign off. Thank you. Bye. Hello, <laughs> <laughs>